Sam Elliott is a talented executive in Silicon Valley who uncovered himself pulled too thin after a more extensive bureaucratic enterprise took over his organization. He was earnest about being a good resident in his new portfolio, so he expressed solidarity with numerous requests without pondering them. Amid his frustration, the organization contacted him and offered him an early retirement package. However, he was in his early 50s and had no charm in full-fledged retirement. He pondered about commencing a consulting company doing what he was already doing. He even considered offering his expertise back to his employer as a consultant. Motivated by his small triumphs, he drove back more. Now when a proposal would come in, he would linger and assess the request against. More demanding benchmark. Is this the very most significant task I should be performing with the time and resources at my disposal right now? By being choosy, he purchased himself space, and in that space, he discovered creative independence. He could focus his actions on one project at a time. He could plan comprehensively. He could foresee hurdles and begin to eliminate obstacles. Rather than spinning his wheels to get everything done, he could get the suitable activities performed.
How many times have you accepted a demand by giving consensus without really thinking about it? How many times have you resented dedicating to doing something and wondered, why did I say yes to this? How usually do you say to impress others? Or to refrain from getting into trouble? Or because you have developed an uncanny knack for saying, yes. Now let me ask, have you ever discovered yourself pushed too? Then, have you ever been deemed both overworked and underutilized? Have you ever found yourself giving precious hours to menial tasks? Do you ever feel active but need to be more productive? Like you're always full of beans but never getting anywhere? Dieter Rams was the foremost designer at Braun for numerous years. He is steered by the notion that almost everything is noise. He thinks very few things are crucial. His job is to sift through that noise until he reaches the core. For example, as a 24-year-old at the organization, he was told to cooperate with a record player. A characteristically specific regulation can outline Dieter's design criteria, grabbed in three German words, Weniger aber besser. 
The English translation reads, less but better. A more apt definition of essentialism would be hard to produce. The essentialist works on the rigorous objective of less but better. It doesn't mean periodically giving the nod to the principle. It means pursuing it with determination, dedication, and discipline. The trajectory essentialist follows isn't about setting New Year's resolutions to say, no, more, minimizing your inbox, or grasping some new system in time management. Essentialism is not about how to get more tasks performed. It's about how to get the desired results. It doesn't mean underperforming for the sake of less, either. It is about making the prudent investment of your time and efforts to operate at the tipping of contribution by doing what is vital.